Hi, my name is RC and I'm excited to bring you a first look at the brand new light from Elencrum, the ELB500 TTL. This portable battery light follows in a long history of quality, reliability, and performance that has been a hallmark for Elencrum. But there are some incredibly useful additions that have been made to this light that I believe are really worth talking about and showing how this could be useful for you. Now, the fit and finish on the unit is solid. The controls on the unit are super simple to use, and you can get up and running with a system like this built like a tank right out of the box. This is really something Ellen Crom is known for, being a light that's a staple for outdoor commercial photographers. Let's take the features right from the top. The ELB500 TTL is a 500 watt second light, but the name alone gives you the first hint as to the feature that is going to get the best portrait possible. Here's the scenario. We're all familiar with TTL. It's the method by which a camera can tell a flash just how much light you need from the flash to make a picture. It's easy. You point your camera to the subject and shoot, and TTL takes care of the rest. But more often than not, this feature is something that's closely aligned to small flash. With the ELB500 TTL, you have the same ease of use that you're used to in a small flash, but built into a 500 watt second light but there are many photographers making pictures that rather have complete control of the picture and want to decide just how much power to put into the picture. That's great, but the trade-off is time. You only have seconds to make a shot. How much of that do you want to spend thinking, well, do I start at half power, quarter power, full power? How much do I adjust it up or down to make the shot? Those are moments wasted, and the faster you get to the shot, the better you can use your time to create. This is where flash lock, the second feature, really helps. Use your TTL to get to the start point of your portrait and hit a button and start the manual process from there. That's going to be very powerful. Now, speaking of powerful, you have a unit that has 500 watt seconds, which can be powerful enough to overpower the sun, and it delivers 400 full power flashes on a single charge. And at full stop, right, at the full power, it can recycle in two seconds. You want a light that gives you a good bang for battery life and doesn't waste time waiting to recycle. You don't want to miss a thing, and this helps. Two other big features to hear, though. Active charging and full asymmetry. Let's unpack this. First, active charging. When you're researching lights, one of the biggest decisions photographers often make is, do I want to get something that I can use in the studio, or do I want to get something that I can use on location? This usually leads to having an outdoor kit and an indoor kit, costing you twice as much. With the ability to be able to charge the light, now you have something that you can use in the studio, as well as plugged into the wall, a mobile light in the studio, or on the go. The second, symmetry versus asymmetry. Right? Usually in a pack like this that lets you control two heads, you can increase the power on the unit and both lights go up. Symmetrical or you can individually control each light, one with a lower power and one with a higher power, kind of like a main light in a fill light scenario. That's asymmetrical. Previously, asymmetrical packs gave you an option that if you needed to get the light really, really low on a low power setting, you could only do it on one side, but not the other. Here, this pack lets you do either port A or B, and you can go up and down from a full punch to a small kiss of light over a range of seven F stops, for whatever power you need. It's also worth mentioning that these flash heads are incredibly light and the virtue of being this small really lets you fly them into really cool locations. Take a battery power light that has everything built into it and start raising it on a modifier, anything more than six feet, and that's guaranteed to add 50 points to your blood pressure and introduce danger into your shoot. You don't have to worry about this here, and now you have the option to use the Elencron Q-mount for the portable light series of modifiers or an adapter so that you can use Elencron larger modifiers. Triggering your lights is also something that's taken a great leap forward worth noting. The ELB500 TTL comes with Elencron's wireless transmitting system built in, Skyport, so you can use it right out of the box. But on top of that, because of the partnership between Elencron and Photix, Users of Photix Odin 2 transmitters can also use the Odin to power the light. So imagine if you're a Photix owner of small flashes like the Metros Plus, right? and you're using the Indra, and you're looking for another tool in your arsenal. You can now move into an Elencrom system and still have the same ease of use and functionality that this partnership brings. And now we have yet another tool to add to the arsenal, the ELB500 TTL. Great portability, incredible technology built in, and an amazing light. 
If you want to see more of this light, make sure you check them out at ellencrom.com. My name is RC. Thanks for watching.